All right, Libra, we are doing a future love reading. Now, there's some signs that have been suggesting that there's new love coming in. So, Libra, we are going to do Why Haven't You Found Them? How Come You Haven't Found Them and How to Fix That? What You Can Do to Meet Them or How what can you do to meet them? How will you know them? Where will you find them? Guidance. Your first impression of them. The common bond between you two. And then the wisdom for the future. Alright. And let's see. Finding the one. Is this a person that's meant for you? Let's find out. So, why haven't you found them yet? Let's see. Ah, because you're still closing out a cycle. How come you haven't found them yet? Ah. Because there's some trickery going on here, and the cycle hasn't ended yet. Could be from your person's side. What can you do to meet them? Be very loving, nurturing, emotional available. How will you know them? There'll be romance. Romance or they will come to you. Where will you find them? Oh, at work. Wow. So you might meet them at work. Whatever it is that you do for work. So if you're on the internet, you could get a message from this person. Or if you work um, at a certain place, Libra, that is where they will find you. When will you find them? Hmm. When you have a death and rebirth or they have one. Okay. And that could be from the person they're with right now. Okay. Let's see here. What's the guidance? Hmm. King of Cups. Hmm. They're very loving, and this is a divine connection here. We have a king and queen of cups here. Could be a divinely guided love. What's the common, oh no, what's the first impression of them? Oh. They're self-sufficient. They're the empress. They don't need anyone. They've done it all. They know they they're in touch with their gifts. What's the common bond? Ah, oh, lovers. <laughs> Love is the bond that you have for each other. Okay. And what's the wisdom for the future? Ah, oh, tower moment, change, upheaval huge change because this uh, uh, this should not be here this should not be going on there's some major upheaval that needs to happen either with you or your person yep this could be something that was prior to And that is what happened in the past. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Two of Cups is your challenge. Finding the one. Finding that soulmate or twin flame. Mirroring each other. Let's see. A 
let's clarify. For Libra, we'll do a couple more cards for Oracle cards at the end here. All right, why haven't you found them yet? Their cycle hasn't been closed out with the Queen of Cups. Hmm. Huh. Okay. That seems to be you. Right here. Unless this is about your person with someone else. It could be that they need to to shut out this. Why haven't you found them yet? They need to end a cycle with somebody. Or you do. This could be you ending a cycle with somebody. Maybe you're with somebody now. Maybe you have to close out that cycle before this person will come in. Right? Let's see. Why is the trickery here for how to overcome number one? Yeah. Some kind of trickery here too because this is the five of swords. That's a lot of uh, jealousy and um, bad mouthing, thinking bad things about people, saying terrible things about people. So they they could have, uh, yeah, because there's a lot of gossip here. Could be uh, why they didn't come forward with you. Maybe they had a chance to before and they didn't. There's still major bad situation here like running around in the middle of the night no good behavior stabbing you in the back let's see what can you do to meet them and queen of cups is here yeah maybe you need to Give them an offer or they want to offer you something. Maybe they feel you are the world to them. Maybe you are their world. And you are the Queen of Cups and you are their world. And maybe they've just had a lot of terrible things go on in their life or you have. They just want to give you a coin, an offer. They see you... public recognition. Maybe they see you online. What's the Knight of Wands? This is for your how will you know them? Oh, well, they'll make you happy. Like, Ten of Cups happy. Like, majorly happy with romance. And them coming to you, maybe. Maybe they're gonna come to you. Okay. Where will you find them? At work? Mm, yes, two of cups. Love in the workplace. Mm, that doesn't always go well, Libra. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Death and rebirth. So maybe when you find them, there is a death and rebirth of or a reconciliation here. Oh, they want to work with you. Cooperate. So maybe this will actually occur where you bring them in to work with you and you work together as a divine couple. Maybe you both have something to do here that you have to do together. Yeah, see the King of Cups had a lot of options. Or he was a fantasy. He gave you some type of fantasy world and just gaslit you. Some type of, well, we'll get married and we'll buy a house together and yada yada. Give you the dream you're looking for so you'll, you know, open up to them. All right, what's the first impression? The impression was the Empress. You feel bound to them. 
in your own mind you feel trapped already you haven't even <laughs> this is just your first impression what's the common bond between you growth with the lovers you both had some uh, growth or news of some kind maybe some trials and tribulations for each little leaf you've got on that wand you know for your growth you know having having learned a few things while you were together or you will you learn things about love maybe they weren't so good maybe they were what's the wisdom for the future uh, well you're looking out to the future waiting waiting for this change to happen maybe it hasn't happened yet maybe it's still coming and you're waiting for it to come you know it's you can sense it I, I think you can sense it or they can yeah maybe a temptation toxic behavior or a Capricorn <laughs> could be a Capricorn coming in for love yep yeah. Capricorn the lovers the nine of cups the moon upside down, so no more secrets. The fool. The star. Wish fulfillment. Hm. Yeah, it's faded. It's faded. All right. Let's look at some other cards for you. We'll do the Romance Angels for you since we are doing about love. Let's get a few of those. We'll do some other um, advice from Spirit. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Religious factors. Hmm. Your love life is love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this person could be religious while you might be spiritual. So you might have to um, have some type of talk about your spiritual or religious. Yeah, and it says keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, Libra. So, and yes, it is a new love. Okay, so it may not be anyone you know at all. But there is love and happiness here. You're going to meet them at work. There's going to be love at work with somebody from work. Could be your boss, could be could be a co-worker. But there's going to be some kind of death and rebirth here as you work together. It says new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings, so and let get let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So keep that in mind as well. Let's see. Let's get some spirits advice. chakra the answer that you seek is in your heart right now be open and giving and receive love so be open to the love baby <laughs> cancel clear and delete 
Use only positive words and thoughts as they're rapidly manifesting into form. Okay? Ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. So get them to clear, cancel, and delete any uh, negative uh, feelings you're putting out. Only positive. That's what you want coming back to you, right? All right, let's see. Sacral chakra. You're highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, and uh, processed foods and energies right now. So anything, um, you're just sensitive to these things. So just keep that in mind. Um, maybe eat better for yourself, okay? All right, respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships. So if they're causing you stress, avoid it. And let's see here, our last one. Have you asked your angels to help you with this? Your angels want to help you with the situation. However, they require your permission before they can intervene with your free will choices. So because you have free will, you have to actually give permission to your angels, ancestors, spirit guides to actually um, help you with this situation, okay? So ask and you shall receive. And I'm gonna do these creepy little <laughs> cards, Libra. Let's see what these creepy young girls or creepy little girl have to say. What messages do they have they want to convey? All right. Dress of alchemy. Release your power. Wow. Alchemy. Hmm. Shine from within. Let's see. Oh, trick or treating. We're here. <laughs> These are more for, I guess, Halloween cards, but I still like using them. Eclipse Mermaid. A powerful energy shift. Mm. Energy shift. Nice. Sea storm. Calm amid chaos. So keep your cool amongst the chaos around you. You'll benefit from doing that. People will see you being calm, cool, and collective amongst everybody else freaking out. <laughs> okay. okay. So keep that in mind when everything starts to go sideways. Angel de los Muratos. Uh, transitions to the spirit realm. Hmm. Cool. Well, there you go. Libra. I think I'm going to leave it there. And this is your message for today. Um, this new love that wants to come in, whether you're with someone or not. And um, I hope you liked your messages. I hope it resonated. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for future Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot messages from Spirit. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Libra.